Hello and welcome everybody, Marcus Small here from thesmallman.com. I thought I'd show you today how you can use ticker symbols to extract share price information into an Excel spreadsheet. And the way that it works is very, very simple. I've just gone to Google, extract some tickers. So these are your stock symbols. And what we want to do, you can pick the file up on my website. There's a link below is if you want to follow along that'll work really well if you want to sit back and watch that works well too all right so we'll just highlight these guys and we'll go to the data menu and this is how easy it is to turn these stock tickers into actual tangible data we just choose stocks and then it evaluates the tickers and look at that it turns them into companies no problem if we want the ticker to come back we could just go down to ticker symbol and ticker symbol comes back. That's how simple it is. So this little guy is the key. So we can get a whole rasp of information with that little symbol. We can pull things out like if I was to go here and, and go, oh, we want to get the previous close. So what did it close at yesterday? And we can dovetail that against the price. So we just go down and we get the price. That's the current price. And then we might want to say, oh, well, what, what was the change? So alphabetically, was the percentage change? Now that's not a percentage. Oh, it is. That's really nice. So sometimes it'll the percentage will come out as a number. So maybe if I go into this color and do the same thing. Oh, no, it's worked out quite, quite nicely. I was hoping I could show you something that wasn't working quite that well. Um, so that's, that's the change. And we might want to look at something like the volume. Uh, I might take this erroneous column out and there's a whole heap of information that you can get we, we can get say if we go to the top that you might want the 52 week low and then the 52 week high and then the beauty of this sort of thing is when you open it next time all the information will update let's say we open it tomorrow well it all updates so we've got a live living spreadsheet that works really really nicely and if we want to refresh the data we just refresh all so it gives us the ability to come through the day if we're looking at say american stocks we can just come in just refresh it or we can just uh record a procedure actually out of off the top of my head it's it's this workbook dot refresh all and then or, or even use the shortcut control alt F5, that does the same thing as going up to the refresh all. Control, Alt, F5. All right, everyone. You can see how simple it is to get go from basically nothing to having a fully functional and live spreadsheet that updates stock prices. Great for your home stocks or anything you want to keep a track of. All right, I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll catch you next time. Bye.